there is perhaps no more important site to the history and the future of the Bay Area than San Pablo Bay. But I grew up five miles from it and never really even knew it was there. The parts of San Francisco Bay most of us know involve drama, bridges, headlands, and islands. In contrast, San Pablo Bay is huge and the land around it is flatter. You may know it from sitting in traffic on Highway 37, looking out over water, mud flats, and marshlands. This type of landscape is called baylands, shallow water habitats that historically were all around the bay shoreline. Baylands filter water, absorb rising tides and waves, provide habitat for wildlife and recreation for us. In the 150 years since the gold rush, these baylands weren't considered valuable and all around the bay they were filled in to create roads, rail lines, and shoreline cities. Now, only 20% of those baylands remain, but half of them are in San Pablo Bay. Over the next 100 years, sea level rise will inundate vulnerable baylands, jeopardizing nearby communities' access and safety. As it exists today, Highway 37 has the dubious distinction of constricting both regional traffic and tidal flows at the same time. If we want to turn liabilities into assets through design, this will be a first test. If we do nothing, this critical area will be underwater by 2050, highway included. But what should it be? We could reveal the rich history of this place, transforming it to serve all the communities of the North Bay. It could be their ecological central park. Here's how we could do that. First, create an identity that speaks of the place but also of the regional impact and the ambition. Second, make it accessible. Let's turn a congested, flood-prone highway and an old freight railroad into a modern mobility system. Third, expand the constituency. Let's invite all the communities in the region to see this as their place. Fourth, adapt the ground. Let's conceive techniques for preserving and expanding ecological diversity. This program will be a laboratory for worldwide efforts to adapt vulnerable coastal land. And let's call it the Grand Bayway. The Grand Bayway describes both the identity of the land and the experience of traveling through it. It's a 21st century scenic parkway system that connects communities to each other as well as to the environment. Flows of people, flows of water. Key to mobility is Highway 37. Elevating it to allow tidal action underneath could create the next iconic bay crossing, but one devoted to 21st century values about more integrated solutions for transportation and the environment. This scenic mobility loop embraces the entire area, connecting people across the region, as well as providing new ways to move through these baylands. Say we enter through the Western Gateway at Sears Point, from here, visitors have access to Sears Point Raceway, miles of hiking along Tole Creek, and further access into the Grand Bayway. Traveling deeper into the Baylands, we come to Wingo, a former train stop ghost town, transformed into a new settlement of boardwalks, sloughs, field stations, and maybe even a saloon. Here, visitors will find themselves at the front line of rising tide adaptation processes. Bookley is a vanished town along the northern fringe of the Baylands where visitors experience the changing landscape from atop observation platforms and paths meandering through the marshes. Napa Junction will become the new Northeast Gateway, a community hub for American Canyon that opens onto the Baylands. But in other locations along the Napa River and emerging wetland habitats, the hustle and bustle of the city will completely fade away into bird songs and the splash of kayak paddles. Large swaths of the Grand Bayway will focus on developing pristine natural habitat for species that rely on this type of ecology. There are some locations in the Grand Baylands that offer distinctive, even quirky experiences, and one of those is Cullinan Fishing Camp, built on pontoons within the wetland waters. So over time, a series of floating platforms will migrate inland with the shifting bayland, a visceral experience of the evolving tides the Bear Island Gateway invites Vallejo, American Canyon, and regions to the south and east into the Baylands. Visitors can arrive to an intermodal hub and get equipped for their explorations on foot, bike, kayak, excursion train, or the causeway. 
This project is intended to unlock these flows of water, people, and culture. Sea level rise is less a problem to be solved than a new dynamic of water and community to embrace. As advocates for this place, and I mean all of us, we're not here only to patch up problems of coastal flooding. True resiliency means going beyond, to boldly build on this opportunity with collective imagination to create something better than before, an optimistic, open-ended future of San Pablo Bay and its baylands. I'm Tom Leader, landscape architect, and we've been working in collaboration with many that support this vision, and we want to recruit you.